to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video and for this week's video we are getting a little bit crafty and we are doing a DIY Poundland inspired home cushion craft. Let's get on with it. I went into the pound shop and they've got a whole wide range of cotton bags that are usually found behind the till or near the till area um, and they've had Disney princesses, they've had Harry Potters and not too long ago they brought in a Me To You collection and anyone who knows me knows I love blue noses and Me To You bears, they are awesome. So I grabbed a couple but I thought they were too nice to just use as short shopping bags that will just end up in the boot of my car probably never seeing the light of day because I don't actually tend to use the bags that I have in my boot I just buy more which I really need to stop doing because now I've got a bag in my boot full of bags anyway getting a bit off topic let's get back into it so i've got my me to you themed cotton bags here from poundland i've got one that says always happy i've got one that says love and i have one that says be kind i just think these are actually super cute so what we're going to do today like i say these are all from the pound shop um and we are going to turn them into a cushion cover which is really easy and simple to do i'm sure you've probably either heard about it or seen it done before but i am going to talk you through the process i just thought it's something that if you wanted to add a bit of decoration to your bedroom or you know you want some new cushions for your sofa or with christmas coming up oh my god christmas is around the corner you could always do it and and gift it to someone so you will need a cushion to go inside i did go to wilkinson's because i couldn't find any from my pound land that i was in um these were one pound 75 so i mean that's two pound 75 for a craft that's gonna look super cute and ask your mum for some cotton and a needle because i'm telling you she will have some <laughs> so you won't have to spend any money on that you will also need some pins as well unless you've got an iron handy so i'm going to choose my bag first and i think we are going to go with this one um first of all i'm going to de label it and then what you want to do is you're going to cut off these straps because obviously we're not going to need them if you're really really handy dandy you can actually unpick the stitching that's already there and take them off but i am just doing it the quicker and easier way of using a pair of scissors so we've got now a little pouch I suppose it's not a bag anymore, a little pouch like this. Now what we want to do, if you've got an iron handy, then what you can do is fold over the seam to where you want it and iron it. And that way when you go to sew it, I'm sewing by hand, then it, it will stay in place. However, I do not have an iron to hand which is where my pins are going to come in handy. But first, before we do that, we're going to um, pop our pillow inside. Because these bags are quite small, you'll have to do quite a lot of stuffing and readjusting. But it does mean that they will always look nice and plump. So my pillow is now in there and you can see it's starting to take shape. And oh, doesn't it look so pretty? What I'm going to do now is just put some pins along the seams so it doesn't move when I am sewing it. We're going to do what is called a invisible stitch and if you've never heard of one or you've never done one before it's really simple and easy to pick up and um, i will put a link to the video that i watched to, to remind me how to do it in the description box below and um, because i'm sure that i'm just about to butcher the explanation of it what we're going to do is we're going to put the needle 
uh, through and then we're going to go from one side to the other so it should look like you're creating a little ladder across and then every so often when you pull your thread they will basically all pull tight your cushion will start to close and they disappear so you can't actually see the stitch hence the name invisible stitch <laughs> so i'm going to just grab the end of this and we are going to pop our needle through and it's good that we've already got the stitching down the seam so you can pull your needle in through the stitching which is what i've done at the side so we've gone in at the front here so we're going to try and go in at the back so as you can see i've got quite a few stitches here and what i'm going to do is just grab the end of it and just give it a little pull so you've pulled it all through there so when it's all together you can't see does that make sense i hope that makes sense so we're gonna carry on stitching now and see what it looks like at the end don't forget as well if you haven't ironed it and you are doing your pins to take out the pins as you go okay so i've got to the other end of my pillow now and i'm not gonna lie it's not the neatest actually that's not too bad so now i'm at the other end of the pillow i've gone back through the seam like we did at the start so i'm just going to do a knot there to secure it and then i'm going to pull the thread through the seam and back through and then do a, just a knot up here to secure it and that is me done and ta-da look how cute that is but we just appreciate you wouldn't think that that's a pound bag that you bought from poundland like that's crazy it's such a nice pattern i'm very happy with that that looks so good and i was just thinking actually what you could do if you wanted to is like jazz it up a little bit i i might do some tassels and just put some tassels on either end um just to give it like a little a little something extra but to be fair i don't think you'd really need it but look how cute that is right that is so super cute like if someone gifted that to me for christmas i would be so happy i hope that you've had fun if you've given this a go or just watching the video i hope you've enjoyed it thank you ever so much for watching if you aren't subscribed to my channel please make sure you hit that subscribe button i would be ever so grateful and i've had a lot of fun i definitely highly recommend this you know what it's actually really therapeutic this is this has got a big thumbs up from me so i hope it gets a big thumbs up from you too and on that note i shall see you next time for another video much love bye